Yeah, I think I told the guys this morning, I think we've, we've made some strides, uh, but we got a lot of big strides to make, too, in the next three weeks. Obviously, uh, Saturday was your first measuring point with a scrimmage. You're getting out there. You don't have the coaches holding your hand. You're not, not going off the script, so to speak. Uh, so you're, you're in a game situation, and we need as many game situations as possible. So you find out a lot about yourself. You find out a lot about some individuals, where you are as a unit. And, um, you know, we got to make some – Huge strides in the next three weeks. Uh, obviously, you've seen some guys that uh, we all know about that are performing at high levels. I mean, Julius Wood, Tegan Wilk, you know, the two safeties are uh, returning starters, and they're playing like returning starters. Um, Elijah Morris, returning starter, playing like returning starter, you know. Uh, Jeremy Lewis kind of getting back into the mix now, and, and every day you see him kind of getting more and more of, of being Jeremy. Um, and that's the same with the older guys. Chad, Chad uh, he's done some good things out there on the edge. Uh, he's done some bonehead things he's got to clean up too. I think he had two penalties on Saturday. And we just thought this morning as a, as a defensive unit, like how much a penalty can kill you. I mean, he, uh, he made a, a great play in the backfield where he brought up a second and 12 and, and put the offense behind the sticks, and he lined up all sides. Um, and then the first, first play of the game, we were in a, you know, first play of scrimmage, I think we were in a, you know, look for a, a shot down the field defense. And, uh, they had a five-yard run, and we had a face mask, turns it into a 20-yard play, so it turns it into explosive. And then overall, as a defensive unit from Saturday, we, we uh, you know, did some good things, but we can't give up the big play. I mean, you have 115 uh, really good plays of a scrimmage, and you give up three touchdowns. You know, you can't win ball games that way, and, and uh, we got to get those things fixed. We got to do a better job of communication, um, verbal communication, visual communication, and just playing our tails off, and that, that's where we, we're at. And where we got to keep on protecting over the next three weeks and, and making strides too and I think this week you have some third down stuff going in some different packages and we're finding out a lot about our guys who can be on the field for those third down packages what they can handle you know can they handle playing um, a nick or Sam backer then on third down move inside you know if, if they can then you know, I told, told a young man coming off the field, if you can handle two positions, hey, your stock rises. You can go play, you know, play multiple positions on game day. I said, if you can't, hey, no big deal. We're, we're going to keep it simple because we want to protect our culture so you can play fast and physical. And I said, but, you know, you're, you're limiting yourself. So uh, we got some guys that, you know, got to keep figuring those things out. And as coaches, we do as well. So that's kind of where we're at and, and the direction we're going right now as a defensive unit. Yeah, I think, you know, the one that stands out to me that really has just been here uh, since, you know, the first day I got in the building has worked his tail off. You know, at times last year he, he, he was – even talking about red shirt so he could save a year. Uh, but he ended up freaking playing all our special teams last year. Uh, started in a bowl game, was in the mix uh, at linebacker last year, and that's Taylor Jackson. And he's just done a really good job of taking ownership of, uh, of that room, taking a lot of pride about himself, a lot of pride about how he does things. Uh, every day this summer he, he was in the building um, and just kind of – absorbing everything he can to be the best linebacker he can. So just really excited about him. And, you know, he's a fourth-year player. Um, we hadn't seen him much as an, in a starting role up to this point. But uh, so far in camp, he looks like he, he could be a starter in there. The other guys, they, st they still got to figure it out in there. I mean, we got guys that they'll show up for two or three days, but they got to be consistent. I just talked to them about that coming off the field. Like, you know, uh, whether it's Mike Edwards, uh, B.J., Ra Ra, Kingston McCancer, whoever it may be, they, they got to come and put stacked days back to back to back. It can't be two good days or just a so-so day. It's got to be every single day. So uh, that's the that's ongoing battle in there and, and some good competition, and they got to keep pushing each other until somebody comes out on top. You've had some length on the back end. Do you think that will help, or is that just something that, you know, us and media kind of overhyped? No, I, I think certainly it makes my job easier. I mean, Siobhan Revel, go look at him. Uh, the jump ball goes up, he, he's going to win most of those. Those 50-50 balls are no longer 50-50 balls when you're tossing up to Siobhan. And, uh, you know, Siobhan's had a, a good camp so far. And he, he's a guy that, you know, we got to keep putting him in tough situations to make sure he's going to respond, make sure he's a guy we can count on, on game day. Uh, but, you know, he, he's made a difference for us out there, just being able to play some more aggressive coverages, some things like that. Um, and so really excited about him. And, you know, B.J. Davis is another one with length. But we, we got to get through just the point I just talked about, just consistency there. Uh, Sam Danka is a guy that's really long, that shows some flashes. Still a young guy, but he got to start playing like an older guy so we can get him on the grass. You mentioned defensively trying to limit the explosive, but you also want to be you know, aggressive, kind of get that mentality. How do you find that balance? Yeah. You know, early on we, we, we created um, – 
you know, the mindset, hey, 60 minutes of hell. You know, it's, it's, I think Arkansas basketball was 40 minutes of hell. And, you know, up in your face pressure, we're going to get after you. Uh, full court, blah, blah. The same thing we want to do defensively with, with, our, with our defense. We want to go create negative plays. And we talked to our defense about if we create a negative play or sack on a, on a series, the, the chance of them scoring is only like 8% or 9%. Also, if they don't have an explosive on a series, the chance of them scoring is only like 8%. But they had you give up an explosive. Now all of a sudden that goes up like ninety percent. So those those are things we talk about. And uh, you know we we got guys that can run. We got guys that can move and play in space and more athletic, longer. We want to use that to our advantage. And I keep telling our guys like this system, this defense is built for these young men. Just the, how athletic they are, how fast they move, how long they are, and just. The experience we have in come, coming back is up front in the safety position. I feel really good about it. And that, hey, everything else will come together. So super excited about that. And that still needs to be our, our mindset. Hey, let's, let's go get some TFLs. Let's, let's get after quarterbacks. Let's create chaos uh, for the quarterback, uh, whether it be by disguises we do or pressures we're bringing or whatever it may be. So, and that's, that's how we want to play the game. Yeah, I mean, he, he's not a guy I want to face right now. Uh, you know, they're doing a lot of things and uh, with him that I think's awesome and uh, giving us tough a tough time on defense, making us work, making us work our tails off. And I think things we'll see throughout the season, whether it's in the pass game, run game, whatever it may be, uh, that they're doing offensively is stressing us. So we we got to certainly be on on point with all that. And uh, he, he's he's a talent. You know, he makes some throws that you know. And then our players know it too. Like, hey, you know, most quarterbacks in our league that we see this year won't make that throw. There may be a couple, but most of them, you know, that make that throw are are, are playing uh, playing beyond this level. So um, we talk about that. But he's he's been awesome, and just really super excited for him and the work he's put in, and, and the scenic to come to fruition and pay off for him. Anything else for coach? Appreciate it, coach. Yeah, appreciate you guys.